Aquarius, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a general tarot forecast, but we're going to take whatever comes out here. It could be about love. It could be general. It could be about work, career, friends, family. It could be anything. I can pick up on past, present, or future energies. I can pick up on um, maybe something going on with someone around you that's affecting you also. So please keep that in mind. And uh, only take what resonates, throw away the rest, including the signs mentioned. And um, we're going to look at here, whatever's going on with you, your situation, your energy, how you're feeling, um, advice for you, possible outcome, all clarified with tarot oracle cards. So please stay tuned. And hopefully if you clicked on it, something here is probably for you. Okay, Aquarius, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy December, happy fall. This will be out before December, so this is good for whenever you see this till whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back, watch past playlists. Links are below. Feel free to do that. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you. So we could get a sign, element, or planet here. We'll see that, how that affects your reading for Aquarius at this time. Take that one. See what we have for you, Aquarius. Mars energy, which is Aries. So you could have a Aries around you in some way. It could be a family member, friend, coworker, significant other. It could be anybody. You could have Aries in your chart. You know somebody that has Aries in their chart. So um, Mars is all about competitiveness, uh, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence. So it's all about like those drives. Um, you know, so we'll see how that, how that affects your reading, what's going on here. Maybe you're needing to assert yourself in something, having the courage and confidence to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Aries, uh, in the tarot represents the emperor, which is about taking the lead, taking control, taking charge. It also is the tower, which is about, um, can be about disruptions. It can be about surprises. It can be about a big realization or epiphany moment. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this all plays out for you. Let's get an opening message for you, Aquarius, at this time from Spirit. Let's get an opening message for you at this time for Aquarius. And we have prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus, and Taurus follows Aries. So <laughs> prosperity lies ahead. Okay something coming in for you all right so let's get your energy let's get your energy taurus is i believe the end of end of april into may okay so let's get your current energy so we have a time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. Hmm. And I see a lot of like green here, green there. Green can represent the hot chakra, your hot chakra opening up, giving to others in that way, or green can be monetary. So it could be, you know, in Taurus season, something's opening up for you. You have all this prosperity and then the uh, Virgo time frame, which is the end of August into September, maybe you're will be in a place to give back to others, maybe that have helped you out in the past. You know, now you don't have to take anymore. Now you can actually give back to those who have helped you along the way. Now you can take control, take charge, take the lead, and uh, give back. I don't know. We'll see. We have here. Don't let your past hold you back. South Node. And I just got this for Libra. So this is not falling back on the past, you know, not like um, retreating into past habits, past ways of thinking and that kind of energy, you know, just keep moving forward, moving forward. Don't let the past hold you back. If you have things in the past that held you down, uh, it could be the way you were raised. It could be... Um, the community you were in, you know, maybe it was like a low income family or, you know, you had a lot of struggles in your past that you felt prevented you from moving forward. But I feel like with that Mars energy, 
you know, just really moving forward. And now, instead of everybody giving to you because you were in that energy, maybe, you know, as, you know, when you were young or just, you know, a little bit here in your past, you're able now to prosper ahead and give back to those who once gave to you. For some of you. So let's get some tarot on this. Let's get some tarot on this Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Why is all this energy here? That could be just a message for some of you that you needed to hear that. Okay, so Aquarius. Aquarius, one more. Let's get some tarot, see what all this energy is for you, Aquarius. So why is this energy here for Aquarius? A time to give rather than take. For you, Aquarius, wow. Way too many. It was like a clump of ten. Way too many. Wow, the nine of pentacles. Exactly. That's exactly what I said. Being strong, stable, and grounded on your own. Having all your pentacles. Being totally independent, sufficient, taking care of yourself. No monetary worry. No monetary lack. You have this abundance and prosperity now. And you can give rather than take. We got the shadow side here, which is um, devil energy. <sighs> so, you know, that could be toxic energies. It could just be fear. It doesn't have to be toxic energy or people or places or negative energy. It could just be fear. Um, you know, it could be that now that you have this prosperous time, you're worried and you have fear with like that negative thinking that you could lose it. You know, I never had this before. I you know what if I just lose it all and I, I'm back to where I was. So this is telling you not to let the past drag you back down and hold you back. All right, so let's get uh, a couple more here. Death. So now we have uh, Scorpio here. So this is, you know, ending of old ways, you know, ending things here uh, that need to come to an end. Doesn't mean someone's going to die. But ending of things that need to come to an end so there can be transformation, rebirth, new beginnings. All right, so, and I'm just looking at the card here. Um, you see like a very desolate uh, background there and like this child, well, giving, trying to give flowers. It's like setting fire to your past, like, you know, ridding that energy all right, so let's see. Let's get one more for this energy. Yeah, Nine of Swords. And I had just said fear, stress, worry, anxiety, nervousness, all that devil energy that can be toxic energy of having negative thinking. I may lose this abundance. I may go back to like I, I was before, you know, and not letting the past hold you back because you do have prosperity coming in for you moving forward as long as you stay in control of your feelings, of your future, of your presence, and just positive movement forward. Not give up. And fall back into that energy. All right, so, so we have Scorpio, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that's your energy. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Capricorn. We actually have Taurus over there. All right, so get your actual situation. Well, Ace of Cups, brand new beginning, divinely guided here. Could be new love. It just could be self-worth, value, love, um, spiritual awakening, new spiritual like rebirth, um, having self-value, worth, compassion for yourself, those around you. All right. Loving life, loving you, who you are, what you are now. King of Swords, and there you are. King of Queen, doesn't matter. Standing in here in your truth, truth, clarity, you know, cut, cut, you cut away those things no longer serving you, or you can do that. Stand up for yourself. Don't take any BS. Watch just, you, sometimes the king and queen of swords can be a, lot, a little cold with their tongue. So just be mindful of that. Be more of in a loving energy here with the ace of cups energy. This is a divinely guided brand new beginning for you of total fulfillment in every single way. Everything, all this prosperity and abundance will be overflowing for you in every way that you could imagine. So there's no need 
to think that you may lose this at any time and retreat back to how things once were. So let's get one more. <laughs> and now the Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay, so the Ace of Swords, another divinely guided brand new beginning based on truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you. Like I said, with the sword energy, standing up for yourself, clear communication, big epiphany, realizations here. Brand new divinely guided beginning here with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups with you in the middle. Wow. And now we have the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, I think you're going to hold on to everything for a while here because you're afraid you might lose it again. There's that energy again of being afraid, having fear that you may just lose it all one day and be back to where you were. So holding on to everything here with the Four of Pentacles energy, not wanting to let it go. I might lose it. And being like not seeing things clearly with the Two of Swords here, being blind, uh, could be about making decisions or having to make a decision that you don't feel like you can do it. Um, just being blind to something here. I think you're, you're, I think you're blocking your abundance by. This is necessarily to, to me have to mean about making a decision, but she's blocking. So I feel like you're blocking your prosperity with negative thinking, worry, fear, um, and that kind of energy, as with the devil and the nine of swords. Because that's all on this side. So it's like you're blocking that energy of all this abundance and new beginning for you. You need to hold up that sword in victory here with the king of swords. King or queen, doesn't matter. So let's get some advice for you, Aquarius. So we have the eight of cups and the emperor. So uh, emperor, empress. And I had said Mars, Aries is the emperor and <laughs> so spirit gave me that card so eight of cups here walking away from things no longer serving you walking away from people places things that were no longer fulfilling holding you back and moving in a better direction here divinely guided for you with the star energy here you are the star aquarius faith hope optimism wishes and dreams coming true healing energy divinely guided energy walking towards something here divinely guided for you in taking charge taking the lead here with the emperor empress energy whether you're going for a new job whether you're trying to be a boss or a ceo or vice president own your own business or just leaving a situation that was no longer serving you i i really getting the energy of somebody who maybe uh, had lived in a very poor place and now has like freed themselves from that energy maybe you know growing up or very young dependent on what other people gave you and now you've you've went through school you've graduated you went through college you managed to get through college graduating and now you're developing a life for yourself where you're gaining abundance and prosperity you're doing well you can live in a nice neighborhood you can drive a nice car you know you're self-sufficient you're independent you're making your more and more money as you go but you still have that fear and that worry in the back of your head that I could lose this at any time and be back to where I once was. But your advice is here that this is a divinely guided, the emperor energy here, whatever you're doing, it's divinely guided for you. So you don't have to have that wor worry or fear. If For some of you, if that's what your situation was, if it's not exactly that, it could be just, you know, going into a better direction, a better place, and you have fear and worry about retreating back to past habits, uh, past way of living, past um, energies that weren't serving you. All right. So I really feel like getting out of a toxic situation, moving forward and doing really good now, but still having that fear and worry of falling backwards and having to depend on others or that kind of energy. But Spirit's like, no, you're going in the right direction in this Emperor, Emperor Empress energy. So we have Judgment here with Kama, Scorpio energy. So, you know, looking back on the past, this is about life review, relationship reviews, looking back on the past, you know, forgiving the past. Um, this can be resurrection of the past, but I don't think that's what this is. I think you've 
you're you I think this is like karmic completion. You've been through your karma and now you're going to a better place. So that just forgiving, healing the past, you know, doing that life review and just deciding to move on, making that final decision and moving on to a better place. And the lovers, yeah, making decisions here doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. Making decisions here, going to a better place. Self-fulfillment, self-love, self-worth and value. It could be with a, a new lover, with a potential partner, going in a better direction for some of you. But making decisions here that are totally aligned with you, your self-value, your worth. Being in that Emperor Empress energy, birth to new things. Being in control, taking the lead, being totally aligned here with the lover's energy, with your life, where you want it to go, how you're living it, just loving life. All right, so let's get uh, your possible outcome here. The Page of Pentacles. So again, I had said here about going to school. Um, this is communication, or it can be learning. Um could be an offer coming in you could actually be getting you know whatever you're doing now you could be getting a better offer that may be coming in for you and you'll even lead you to more prosperity and abundance going forward because you do have the nine of pentacles there which is total wealth abundance it's like the minor of the emperor and the empress so there may be an offer coming into you somebody sees your value your worth what you can do what you can offer and they want to offer you uh something here something coming in here or you could be you know either going back to school or just learning more to really master your craft okay so and that you know she's holding up that pentacle this young lady that's kind of like blocking the past like not going to let the past haunt you or bring you down or hold you back it's like holding the past back there all right, so let's get strength. Yeah, you are strong, courageous, and brave here. Leo energy, having that inner endurance, willpower, taming the beast from within, taming down all that negative energy. You are strong. Infinity symbol here. So you may have been through these struggles in past lives too. So this could be a reoccurring theme for you. But... You do have the strength to keep going here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, painful, hurtful ending here. So, <sighs> completion. Ten, completion. So, I think you've lived all your past karma. You've been through all that. It's done. It's over. It's ended. Your past. Don't let it hold you back. You're going into a better place. So, let's see what... The bottom of the deck has to say the sun so and the sun over trumps everything here this is the most positive card in the deck leo energy again happiness joy success victory enlightenment healing happy home and family success and victory everything positive with the sun knight of pentacles so slow practical approaches slow you know practical movement forward slow steady growth moving in the right direction Eight of Pentacles, working hard, mastering your craft. Three of Wands, maybe a period of waiting, you know, maybe in a period of waiting right now, maybe for that offer to come in down here with the Page of Pentacles. Knowing, you know, ships out in the distance that I know better things are still yet to come for me. And they are out there, you can see them, and they will dock up for you. Two of Wands, and, you know, making plans, decisions for your future, moving forward in a new direction making those decisions to total happiness and joy again wish fulfillment happiness in every single way maybe a period of uh, waiting as you make these choices and decisions and working hard slow practical here stable to happiness and joy and victory success in every single way so don't let the past hold you back. I see a bright future ahead here. Bright future ahead. Wow. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to get some messages here now with the numerology deck. And I do ask if you like my style, how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll get four readings a month. 
you'll get a general tarot forecast, you'll get a love connection reading. If you're single, you'll get a singles reading who's coming towards me. And I also do a uh, spirit guide messages, what you need to know at this time from spirit. So please don't mi uh, miss out on that and hit the bell. And thank you so much if you do. And check the description box below for any and all information you need. Decks I'm using, how to book a personal reading, uh, social media, tons of stuff there. And just thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Couldn't do it without you guys and being a part of the channel's growth. And I just want to say thank you, thank you. All right, so we have spirituality here. So, And I had said that, seven, divinely guided energy here. Spiritual number, manifestation, purple, Sp faith, hope, optimism, spirituality. Make sure you're divinely connected here. Divinely guided energy. And I had felt that all through this reading because you said, like I said, you are the star. And um, this energy is all divinely guided for you. So don't ever feel like you may fall backwards because I see a bright future ahead. All right, so let's see. Is there any more messages for Aquarius individuality? So don't be afraid to be yourself, who you truly are. 11 is a divinely guided path for you. So you're walking on a divinely guided path that is meant for you with 11 here. And don't be afraid to be yourself, who you truly are, whatever that means for you. All right, so let's get another, let's get one more, and then we'll do the bottom of the deck. One more for Aquarius. Environment, so something with the environment here, 44, again, 44 with stability, foundation, basis, something either like your environment is changing here. It's a divinely guided path that you're meant to walk on to a brighter future, and don't let the past hold you back in this negative thinking. Your environment is going to change here. Your hot chakra opening up. Abundance coming in with green. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Spiritual career. So, career. so some of you could be going into a spiritual career. And 8 and 7 is 15 and that is 6. So that is healing, balancing energy. So spiritual career. So some of you are going into a spiritual career. And that could be this ind individuality here environment maybe you're doing holistic medicine also and things like that um we have two cards of spirituality there you know and the sun energy is about being true to who you truly are that's your individuality that's who you are that's your soul mission your soul purpose energy also wow okay aquarius a lot there so good luck to you and i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light as with the sun energy here.